fonts are a huge part of designing a logo because it's information. It's a team name. You're going to do that with, with font. Uh, and the fonts that you have, like the defaulted fonts that you have in Adobe Illustrator, yeah, there's cool fonts. Of course, there's fonts that you could use. Uh, and But I want to make sure that you are putting as much personality inside of those logos as possible so having the option to download custom fonts it's a good look so to do that adobe has fonts that you can download for free the good thing about adobe fonts is that they follow you no matter what device you're on there you can go search online there's a bunch of really cool websites that have free fonts that you can download but the downfall is wherever you whatever computer you're on, you're going to have to re-download fonts because it's only specific to that computer. Adobe doesn't work like that. So let's go ahead and go over into the Creative Cloud. I'm just going to get out of there. Creative Cloud app. And in here, you're going to click on the Apps tab and then go down to Manage Fonts. When you do that, it'll show all of the fonts that are Adobe fonts that are in there. But over here on the top right, it says browse more fonts. And that will take you to this page. The cool thing about this page is, let it load, is that, let's just type in crushers. Cool thing about this font or this uh, page is that you have these tags and you can look and say, oh, I want a black letter or I want a horror font or I want a brush script or art deco or futuristic. Doesn't matter. You can look in all of these. So I clicked on futuristic. I typed out just crushers so you can see what it looks like. It's not the font name. The font names are underneath. And you can say, oh, Megavolt looks good. Right here, add family. Fonts added to Adobe apps. Install fonts for use across all apps. OK. And it's downloaded. So now when I exit out of that, you can see, you can see that it's added. So this is called Megavolt. If I go back over to Illustrator now and I search up the font Megavolt, there it is. I have it in there. So it makes it super easy. From here, when you are coming up um, with your sample text, you need to remember the name of the font that you're using. So it might be a good idea to name, to type out the name of the font um, before you save it as a PNG. And that way, if you want to go use it, oops, if you want to go use it and, uh, you know, your team needs to go download that font, then you know the name of it. Again, Creative Cloud, browse more fonts, get you to this page, go and over here in the tags. And if you know the classification, which is a little more advanced, then you can click on that uh, or properties of it. Like, you know, you can, you can do a dial down for your search. Uh, and in most of these, you know, there's pages and pages of fonts that you can choose from. So have fun. Download some fonts, y'all. If you have any questions, let me know. But this is it. Okay. Later.